tell the people what happened. We we not in Cancun. <laughs> Where we at? Back in Dallas. If y'all have been following me for years, y'all know me in airports don't get along. Like my plane done caught on fire before. They done put the fuel in the wrong tank before. Whole bunch of stuff, huh? Yeah. So what's going on right now? The landing gear wouldn't go up, so we back on the ground. Hey guys, before we get into our preparation for Cancun vlog, you will have to hear a word from our sponsors, which is Bellway. I work with Bellway all the time, so if you watch me, you know they are not a stranger to my channel. And if you don't watch me, let me introduce you to them. Obviously, if I am always talking about Bellway, I love it. I have to have Bellway to keep my gut regulated. Bellway gives you a happy gut, smooth mood, less bloating, healthy blood sugar levels, improved heart health, and just overall a better feeling. Now you guys know I use this to keep me regular because once I get bagged up, all the toxic waste in my body just makes me feel horrible. So this is another flavor which is raspberry lemon. You guys, I love the mixed berry the best, um, but I'm going to show you some more. They have some that has collagen in them. There's a whole bunch of different type of bellway. You can find Bellway at Target, but I will have a link below along with a discount code. And if you get it online, you can use your insurance. So I'm going to show you how to make it real quick. I'm going to show you with um, the tumbler that they sent me. And it has a little ball in there so it don't get so thick. Um, I'm showing you guys this in my room today because I am battling COVID. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm doing it right here. It is absolutely imperative that I do this right now because the last thing I need on top of battling this is to get stopped or backed up. So I just put two rounded scoops in the tumbler along with, this is 16 ounces of water. And you gotta make sure you shake this really, really good and do it really, really fast because it will get really, really thick on you and you don't want that. You wanted a juice consistency, so just shake it up. And that's what the ball in there um, helps with so it don't get so thick and it blends it up really really good so this is me y'all i'm struggling but yeah <laughs> i just wanted to show you guys and tell you about bellway i love this company so much it makes me feel so much better i make sure i do this every day if i can and i will make sure i leave the link to bellway with a discount code below I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Lens Smart for the week. You guys, if you already know, Lens Smart is in every video. Um, and I was like, while I'm up and edit, let me just go ahead and show you guys this because once I lay back down, I'm not getting back up. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box, and so let's try the glasses on. All right, guys, here are the two pair of glasses I will be showing you this time. Like I always say, you can get prescription sunglasses, Blu-ray glasses goggles everything on the website so one pair is tinted i'm not sure if it's prescribed but i'm going to try both pair on for you right now i absolutely love this color green right here so let's just try them on so first of all i can't show y'all where i keep them today because i can't leave out my room um so let's just try the green pair on first but i will link below the eyeglass case or if i can find an old clip out of another video um because i have like over 200 pair probably Maybe not that many. I know probably over 100 or close to 100. Girl, I don't have no color in me. But that's the first pair. I'm real pale, ain't I'm y'all. Okay. Ooh, don't pay no attention to that hair either. So, that's pretty okay looking, right? And so, here's the other pair right here. These are purple. Ooh, these are cute. I hope they prescribed. And they got a little bling right here. Y'all see that? That's super cute. Let these be prescribed, they're gonna stay in the car. They're not prescribed. They're just plain sunglasses, but they're cute. So yeah, I'll leave my link to Lensmart 
along with um, the glasses I wear every day, which are right here. I just took them off. I actually need to get another pair of these because I wear them out, honey. And I got 50 million pair of glasses, but just cannot let these go. And everywhere I go, people are like mesmerized about, like just be staring at the airport. Everywhere, everybody just infatuated with these glasses. They're a conversation starter. And so, yeah, let me get back in the bed if I get fussed Baby, $200 and I feel like a brand new woman. See, he the one told me stop getting pedicures. He was like, your feet are perfect, like as far as crust level and stuff. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop getting them $80, $90 pedicures unless I would just wanna be pampered. And I can still get pampered in the chair getting my feet polished because they still turn the chair on and stuff, so yeah. I'm on the mission for a white bodysuit, and if I can't find one, this shit right here will do, I promise you. I just needed to wear under one of them striped Pantsuits. I came to Target and for some reason I feel like I should be in like rainbow or something for what I'm looking for because I want like a white lace teddy um before I just settle and get anything I would just wear a swimsuit under it like I said I'm looking for like this but white you know what I'm saying? Wad. I want it wad. <laughs> Ew. Come on, it's wedding season. I know y'all got a boy, boy. I know y'all got a white. Guess the fuck y'all don't. The Lord is my shepherd. He know what I want. Yes, it's a large. I'm gonna squeeze my tiny ass up in this. All right, so this is an older suitcase I've had since college. I put all my stuff in here um, while I waited on my new suitcase, which I'm gonna get in a minute. So I got this to take my luggage tag off of here. Is it on here? Yeah. Oh, I kind of should just, what is this in my bed? See this? Oh, I should have just got another one. Look at it. Ew, it's like whoa out. I don't like it. Got my P.O. box on there. Oh, I don't like it. I'm going to put another one on there, y'all. All right, guys. So, my hair products go in here. My toiletries go in here. Makeup in here. Jewelry in here. Brushes. Here's my pretty girl pillow that I have to travel with. I keep snacks. <laughs> like healthy snacks. Y'all know that. My fan. My luggage wear. My laptop charge. I don't even know if I'm going to work or take my laptop. My Apple Watch and an extra extension cord um titty tape and this is what i put my dirty clothes in so let me go get the suitcase i'm gonna convert all this in and then i'm gonna add what i'm gonna wear i mean night clothes underwear swimsuits I'm taking like my tongue forward i'm taking this but y'all will see all that in just a second so I did go and get the robe to add, the shirt we got to wear one day, my slippers. I am going to take this because I can't find any of my other luggage tags. And I packed a water bottle like this because when you get those drinks on a resort, you pour them in something like this to keep them cool and keep bugs out of them. There's the mini ring light and this is my brand new Valentino luggage. Still has the tag on it, actually. Got a good deal on this. It was a three-piece set. 
think y'all remember when I hauled this? Five hundred from a thousand or some dollars. But just from being in my closet, y'all, it already got like the scratch marks on it. It's the only reason why I don't like these kind of luggage. Um but yeah, this is my mood, but you know we don't take big bottles, so I'm gonna put Exalte in here. BDK Passe Soir, that's very, very vacation. Very, very. And Instant Crush in here. We've added a couple of bags I got specifically for the trip. And here are all of my clothing options. So let's go. Pillow. Snacks. It don't matter if they get squished, they're still gonna get eight. Tick. As a matter of fact, no. We're gonna slide the snacks and the tick in this zipper part. It's all gonna go in here along with my dirty clothes bag. <laughs> That's so friendly, but it's for dirty clothes. At least I should get a purple one, huh? Makeup brushes. Water tumbler. Ring light stand. I don't know. I'll take that just in case. And this, I always slip it in here with the pillow so it don't break. Honestly, forgot I was recording this, but here's um, hair, toiletries, makeup, jewelry, and I'm going to take this little bag for overflow. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to fit something else right here. Maybe underwear or let's do swimsuits. Here's the swim edition. <laughs> Uh, gotta see what go with what. I got the white swimsuit. I got this purple three-piece from Shein. I didn't try it on in the video because it's extra. Um, and then I have three black numbers. Now, we gotta put a little color in our life, brother. We going to the <laughs> motherfucking Caribbean or wherever we going. I can't just do all black every day. So what I think I'm going to do, because honestly, these two swimsuits came from Shein and these came from Adore Me. These are better quality. So I think I'm just going to take the cover up from the Shein ones and put them with um, the Adore Me ones, if that makes sense. And... Child, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Cause I, I'm not go I don't need no four swimsuits. Let me figure this out, y'all. Y'all look at this bed. I'm gonna get it together though. At least this side done. I'm gonna break this baby in on the balcony. Look like these are the flats I'm gonna take. Might need to take my nude Tory Birch. Mm -hmm. These nude enough. And the black ones. Look, yeah, I gave up for the night because, oh, I ain't got time to be stressing myself out. I, I didn't give up. I got to come back to it because this shit is heavy and it's stuffed. And I still got some, I still got heels to put in here, accessories, underwear, and shape. I hate when I wear this hat like this because I be, <laughs> I be looking like my auntie that just passed away. <laughs> Like I'm finna go fishing or some very much fishing. Headed to the nail shop. See if they can fit me in. I just want a quick pink and white. My nail tech in El Salvador. That's what I get for thinking. I could just call her up. Can I come today, tomorrow? Maybe she's in El Salvador. <laughs> you need nails? I sure do. You guys probably have seen this place before. They actually messed my toes up, but it's two people in here I like, so let's go. So guys, I was able to get in. I'm about to have to get my nails done. Um, I'm gonna get a simple pink and white, okay? <laughs> yeah she did a great job look at my little shorties i went short because my nails are fragile 
so I don't need to be hitting them up on anything breaking them I need a car wash but yeah all right nails are out the way I was talking about I wanted something simple and went in there and got all this sorry that's my new jam y'all but um she did a great job I got shorties I was just telling you guys that because my nail that's why I haven't been getting them done. My nails are so fragile. And I wanted to touch on that because a lot of you guys was talking about reporting my nail tech to the board. My nail tech is only 17. She's probably 18 now. She was practicing on me. And it was not her fault that my nails were fragile. I had a vitamin deficiency that I have been fighting for a year or two now. Because I got ate up by parasites. So my nails, my hair, and all that is going to naturally be fragile. And what happens is my nail tech don't do feels. So every time I need my nails done, I have to take my nails off before I go to her. So instead of me coming to the nail shop paying for them to take them off, instead of me sitting at home soaking them in acetone like I should do, I do the um, toothpick method. And that takes off. You guys have been telling me for years that that's not what I should be doing and that's very dangerous to your nails but I was thinking like I don't wear my real nails so it don't matter you get what I'm saying but now I see what you guys are talking about y'all know I'm the realest ever if y'all are right and y'all tell me something hey y'all was right it's just watch how you say it to me okay so um yeah so that's what's happening me sitting at home oh 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 I hate that sound y'all but that's my water <laughs> Instead of paying, I mean, instead of sitting somewhere, that acetone take a long ass time to come off. Boy, you, ugh. So, with that toothpick thing, I can get them off in like five minutes, but that's unhealthy. So, I'm going to stop doing that. So, my nail tech said to combat that, she'll just start doing feels on me. So, I don't have to take my nails off every single time, and they're already fragile. But, Lisa is my go-to when I can't get into my people or when I want something simple. And, she told me she's been sick, so that kind of made me sad. Kidney stones or something, but, yeah, let's get to Ulta. I need to go to Ulta and get sponges, and I think that's it. So, I just dropped off a package look at me y'all so i just dropped off a package at the post office what is going on up here a poshmark order that needs to go out girl what are you doing a poshmark order that needs to go out um and so i'm i'm gonna try to run into ulta we got a brand new one right here i'm gonna see if it's open but I, if I'm not mistaken, CVS, yeah, CVS and all of them sell Real Technique sponge. Can y'all believe I don't have a Real Technique sponge? Me, Platinum D. <laughs> I haven't been using sponges lately yet because I haven't really been doing foundation either. But I got to be beat for the wedding, so I got to put some foundation on. Like, I've been doing powder foundation, which I'm supposed to show y'all that routine. But, boy, y'all can see I got a lot going on. But they just put a new Ulta right here by Crumble, and it says now open. So... Let's go check out the new Ulta and get my sponges. But yeah, I used to have like buckets and bins and drawers full of those sponges. I gave them all away when I retired. And then I had a drawer full at the house about two weeks ago. I cleaned out and just threw them all in the trash because I'm like, this shit been sitting in this drawer dirty. They were all dirty for over a year or two probably now. Not two, yeah. I know I could have just washed them, but I just thought of all the bacteria that's deeply invested. <laughs> invested. <laughs> that's like deep in the motherfuckers and was like mm, trash. So, ooh, yeah. By the way, if you are in the Cedar Hill, Duncanville, DeSoto area, we are getting, Cedar Hill is getting an on the border and a DD's discount. That's interesting. They coming up. I was wondering why they put this Ulta right here. And we got one across the street. But we also got two Bath and Body Works. We got one right here and one across the street. And both of them get a lot of sales. So I guess it don't matter, y'all. Ooh. Gosh. Boy, I do not understand. I was going to put the camera on it, but that's rude. What, um, oh, y'all don't come for me. I don't know the politically correct name, but like Muslims or people who wear the hijabs, whatever. 
and stuff how do y'all do it when y'all going through menopause and stuff or in the summertime because baby i want to be butt naked i mean butt booty naked right now but i can't <laughs> so i can't imagine having to have all that draped over my head and then they wear the um i don't know the name y'all but you know it looks like a um gown or a pullover type thing uh-uh I mean, I guess they used to it and they have no choice, but God bless them because this menopause be having me want to just be naked, nothing on my skin. So let's go. Hey. Thank you, darling. Hey, how are you? So I'm in here, guys. I got to stay, um, I got to stay focused. So real technique will be over here, I would wanna say. No, oh, no, they got it mixed up. So clean in here. Boom. So we're gonna get this one, which is the bigger one. It's like the body sponge. And what's the difference, y'all? In this packaging. <laughs> oh, it's been a minute. In this packaging. Child. And um, select the option one more time. Make sure that's correct. And you have a great one. Me too. Thank you. Sponges are secure. <laughs> so, I'm trying. Do I want to go ahead and get my liquid IV? Or do I want to get up in the morning and go get that? Hmm. All right, y'all. Back home. We struggling with the luggage, so me and Suge weighed earlier. I don't want the Walgreens, CVS, or something got batteries and everything for my luggage wear. I'll link it below, because what you don't want to do is pay $100 because you're over 50 pounds, or be sitting there looking goofy trying to take stuff out, so you don't have to pay that $100. So, last night Nicole waited, last night I waited, it was five pounds over. I went and got the battery for the luggage wear, it was five pounds over. <laughs> So I really didn't have to waste my money on the, the wear, but I did, but I didn't, but I did, but I didn't. So, da, 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 da. let's see here. We're gonna turn this booger on. Okay, it's gonna turn red if it's over, so y'all gonna see it. Okay, I think it's 46, babe. You come. I can't, you know, I can't hold it up that long. Mm -hmm. She put, oh. Let's stick it through there. I got this. A little bit. But no, a little bit like this. Forty eight. We're at forty eight. <laughs> <laughs> I took uh, a, some, a few toilet, thank you, babe. Should I pack it? The land? Yeah. Nah, cause I ain't bringing nothing back, huh? Uh, put it in mine just in case. So it's the next morning. My um, intentions were to be up a lot earlier. It's 9.23 to get an IV drip. Remember I debated on if I was gonna do it yesterday and I should've because they don't even open to 10. So it's 9.20. I'm gonna try to be there when they open and hopefully they not full. If they are, I just, I'm not gonna be able to get one because we gotta be at the airport at 12. So I'm already pushing it, so. I guess I need to quit talking and go. I'm a little stuffy today. I don't know. And then Suge made rice, rotisserie chicken, and broccoli. And that shit had me nauseous all freaking night. I don't know what it was because I eat all of that. It must have been the broccoli because that's the only thing I don't eat consistently anymore because it used to give me uh, indigestion. So, yeah. I look sleepy, don't I? Oh, and something is going on with our flight is full. 
So they offered us $500 to change flights, which is fine. But tell me now, I don't want to sit up at the airport and have to know that. I'd rather sit at home and just get on the next flight. And so I just tried to check the status of it right now. And it's telling us to check in again. Like, I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to have to call them while I'm in here. But let's go. All right, guys. So I am here. Don't look like nobody's out here. Um, They open at 10 and it is... 948 girl she needs some gas so um let's just try our luck I should have went and got a little snack but there's really nothing breakfasty I can eat this early like oatmeal oh is it a McDonald's I could have got some oatmeal let me run and get some oatmeal because I need something very much something on my stomach because this is kind of like taking medicine without having some on your stomach yeah i think this might be wrong online because i see people going in i'm just gonna try my look because i gotta get the cancun honey oh no nah, it's very much 10. oh concierge is nine let me see who's in here Hi, what time oh y'all not open yeah, yes. okay I think they tripping today, so I told them if they need to delay me, let me know now. Don't let me get all the way to the exactly. airport and have to, I can wait at home. Well, let's get you going. What do you, you said you want to be hydrated? Yeah, I, and a B12. Okay. So since it's been about a year since you've been here, you have to do your health assessment again. Okay. A year? It's been close. It's been close. <laughs> it's been close say a year. Guys, it's a madhouse. Mm, proper, so like I told y'all, they got dang IV. I got B12 and I let in there and had an eight. So I'm like, I just do it to myself. Her come by her anxiety bad too. I'm probably making it worse. <laughs> Cancun. Where we at? Back in Dallas. If y'all have been following me for years, y'all know me and Air Force don't get along. Like my plane done caught on fire before. They done put the fuel in the wrong tank before. Whole bunch of stuff, huh? Yeah. So what's going on right now? The landing gear wouldn't go up, so we back on the ground. Back on the ground. Back in the day. We supposed to be halfway there. But where are we at? Back in motherfucking Dallas. So where they tell us to go back to D38? Now clearly we irritated and weren't paying attention. We don't even know where we supposed to be. And I gotta pee again. This is like my fourth time work. <laughs> Alright guys, we were at Terminal D and had to come all the way to A. Like, we just, hey, 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 hey. We 
just gonna look in the positive, right? It could have been something they couldn't catch or <laughs> so <laughs> thank y'all for thank y'all for getting us off that plane. <laughs> but we tired and ready to rest on the beach. <laughs> No immigration forms on the plane, so we getting hell back. Oh, let me put my camera up. That did not play, bro. We got them stamps. <laughs> Y'all know sometimes they don't stamp anymore. You gotta ask for it. I was like, I want my stamp <laughs> expeditiously, huh? This is supposed to be a stabilizer. I never knew why people, because you know, we used to then vlog with these sticks. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Your legs all right? Yeah. Better hold on to it real. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought I lost my charm again. <laughs> Wet floor, and I get in the water. Oh, something smell good. Thank you. Hola. Y'all have an ATM, right? Huh? You have an ATM? You're not the same in the main phone Okay. Okay, you gonna get to say a little something on. Mm-hmm. You wanna try to catch a restaurant or order one for the room service? Mm-hmm. My baby tired. Poo poos, my poo poos tied. Motherfucker tied. Okay, um, remember, these are the license forms. For the road, the other side. You got a whole smell now. Go on, turn it up. Go on, turn it up. Go on, turn it up. Oh, smell now. We got a little motherfucking Jose Cuervo. Now, that ain't Jose Cuervo. Sick of funky ass pretzels. <laughs> oh, what is this? Cranberry? I'm gonna tie that the fuck up. Ain't nothing here you could drink but Sprite, baby. Oh, we can curb. Hey, we got M&M's in here. Oh, it's Coke in here. I'm tripping. I say you the coke. You having two face, you see it? Whole Colgate right there. 
A scale? I can go to hell with that. We was down there. They got a swim up, y'all. Resort is dark. This baby, my life. Oh, Jesus, what's going on, y'all? Can y'all see me? Oh my gosh, y'all! It was this dude. He was just like sitting on the floor, drunk by the elevator, wasn't he, Papu? He was by a room. Oh, he was just sitting there with a drink in his hand. Still holding the camera, y'all. I'm in. Baby, what the fuck? Y'all. $1,000 ass resort. The electricity don't went out. This will never happen at Motel 6. Mm. Nicole knows he. She out out on the patio being nosy. I mean, the whole resort is dark. My ass just seem up. I'm used to motherfucker out from Oak Cliff. I'm used to the lights going out. I watch this Monet. I know this Monet. Sushi restaurant. She told the child lights go out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, I'm here laughing. I'm talking about a about clip. I'm used to the electricity going out. <laughs> oh, la. All right, just take the top off. It's hot. Yeah. Oh, it's real hot. Why? <laughs> How he carried in here? Okay, this bottle. That's the alfredo. There ain't nothing in there but some meat. I mean, some onions. Look like, what is that, onions? Look at that little piece of bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's my fajitas. That's my chicken breast meal. This is the salmon property. Ooh, ooh, I hate uh skin on my This is what the top is. Oh, okay. I thought you said something about some salad for the fajitas. Because I can't hear you. Very fat, y'all. We just didn't like the other food. Okay, come on back. Ooh. Oh, girl, why this in two? She ain't no help. 
she uh the case of this quesadillas yeah my suitcase i already cracked i have been the person for years that say do not invest in designer luggage honey because they gonna they gonna do it bad but y'all know i caught it on sale Children. And that's how we got the We have a charitable foundation for 23 years. 